All right, so welcome back to another week of math. And today we are talking about sorting 3D shapes. So on Thursday, you guys had to name and describe 3D shapes. So today we're just going to quickly do some sorting of them. So remember that 3D shapes are solid figures or objects and they have three dimensions, which is length, width, and height. And that's important for you to know. Um, as I'm probably in grade four, especially length, width, and height, because you'll have to know how to do the area of shapes, but you don't have to worry about that now. Um, and three dimensional shapes have thickness or depth. So you can tell that they are 3D because there's more than one side to them, okay? And again, if you want a little bit more information, there's a video there from last week if you want to watch it if you didn't get a chance. So these are some of our 3D shapes that we know. So spheres, cylinders, cuboids, cones, prisms, cubes, pyramids. These are the shapes that we know and we actually talked about some of them last week. So things that you need to know when you're looking at 3D shapes are faces, which are the flat parts of the 3D shapes, edges, which are the straight lines that connect to make the vertices, and vertices, which are the corners. Okay, so that's where the edges meet. So those are the three ways that you can look at uh, describing 3D shapes, and you'll need to know these today for sorting 3D shapes as well. So just a quick reminder, a cube has six faces, eight vertices, 12 edges, a cylinder has three faces, zero vertices because it has no corners and two edges and remember one of the faces on a cylinder is curved okay so that's why it says three otherwise it might just have two flat faces okay and then when there's cones and triangular prisms and all sorts of other shapes there so if you're looking for a quick little review of our 3d shape properties or describers that will help you, okay? And remember just on this page, when it says one face, it means that it's curved, okay? So it has one curved face, not a flat face. We talked about um, cones and cylinders and spheres last week. Remember that the sphere didn't have a face, because we were looking at flat faces, and obviously a sphere isn't fat, flat, so it has one curved face, all right? So, if it is a prism, then the two opposite sides are the same, they have the same face, okay? It could be triangle, it could be pentagon, it could be hexagon, it could be a square, it could be a rectangle, okay? But remember that a prism also has rectangular sides. And you can see that here. Okay, so that's a rectangle, that's a rectangle, that's a rectangle. So a prism has a rectangular face, at least on the sides, okay? Now, pyramids, they have this little pointy bit at the top, and they always have a flat base okay and they have the pointy bit which is a vertex at the top and um, they do not have rectangular faces so most of the time they will have triangle faces okay but they can have other faces as well but most of the time they're triangle okay and they always have like i said the one base at the bottom remember that cones have one circular face Okay, they have no edges. Well, they have the one edge, which is the bottom. Again, it's curved. And one vertex, which is this corner, okay? Cylinders have two bases. So one, two, okay, two faces. And that means that they have two curved edges. But they also have this part here which goes around and it's curved. And then the sphere, obviously it looks like a ball. It doesn't have any flat edges. It has no vertices, but again, it has a curved face. So, but you can also just put that it has no face 
because it's curved. So if we were going to sort these shapes, thinking back about how we sorted our polygons and our 2D shapes, what do you think or how could you sort them? There are a few different ways that we can sort these shapes. Um, and I'm going to tell you the first one. So what is the sorting rule for these shapes? Well, I've sorted them based on the fact that they all have one vertex at the top. Okay. And this one has two. So objects, which is the word that we use for 3D shapes. Okay. Objects with one vertex at the top. That's this part. And objects with more than one vertices at the top. Okay. So that's one way that I was able to sort them, but you should also look at things like number of faces or the shape of those faces. So here we have a circle face. This is a square. Um, this is a, it could be a pentagon or a hexagon. And obviously this is a rectangle. So you could actually sort them based on four sided faces or not four-sided faces or the number of faces or the number of edges or if they if one was a cube and one was a square based pyramid then you could put the squares together okay um, and you also should look at what type of shapes they are so we could have also sorted these based on the fact that there you could put them in three groups so you could put them in as a prism pyramid and cone Okay, so you guys can come up with your own sorting rules today. So your job today is to complete page 100 and 101 in your math practice and homework book. Okay, remember that we are using objects, okay, as the word for 3D shapes. So objects means 3D shapes. So on page 100, you just need to tell me how are the two shapes the same? these two shapes or different okay I can think of a few ways how they are the same but also different so try and come up with one way why they're the same and one way that they are different on page 101 all you need to do is fill in this table again you're looking at the edges of these shapes so you're trying to see which one has more than five edges and fewer than five edges so more than five and less than five and you're just going to write the numbers of the shapes in to the column so psh, there there's one answer for you and then the last question that i'm going to want you to do today is number two okay so you're only doing three questions today and for number two you just have to write the sorting rule so you're just going to write the sorting rule remember to use the word objects okay and you need to try and figure out what's different than these ones and this, these ones okay you can use this to help you to help guide you number three is bonus so if you really want to answer it you can and the stretch you're thinking is also bonus as well so you're only having to do those three pages uh, for us today and that is it okay and remember if you need help just ask us for help and again if you want more practice there's some great games that you can talk about with shapes uh, so you can go ahead and click on those if you want to do a little bit more math today otherwise page 100 and 101 are what you need to do and remember when you're sorting to look at the number of faces the shape of the faces the number of edges and what type of shapes they are so are they pyramids are they prisms are they cubes are they cones are they spheres okay really have a look and think about it when you're sorting these shapes and that's it so we'll see you back here tomorrow for some more math